Welcome to India. It's a lively and varied country in South Asia. It's surrounded by the big Himalayas to the north and the Indian Ocean on three sides. India is in a special spot that's brought together lots of different cultures, traditions, and amazing sights. India has been a meeting place for people and ideas for a long, long time. It's where old trading paths met, and it's been a spot for sharing ideas and cultures for thousands of years. The country's really big and has lots of different kinds of places to see, like tall snowy mountains, flat plains, thick forests, and beautiful beaches. The Himalayas are one of India's big features. They're the tallest mountains in the world and run along the top part of the country. These mountains don't just look pretty, they also protect the land from bad weather, which helps make the climate and environment special. India has a super long coastline, stretching over 7,500 kilometers. There are lots of amazing beaches, cool islands, and busy ports along the coast. The Indian Ocean is warm and full of interesting sea life, so there's always something fun to do in the water. People visit India for all sorts of reasons. It's got a rich history and lots of cool stuff to see, like old temples and places that are really important to the world. Whether it's the famous Taj Mahal or the ancient forts in Rajasthan, every part of India has a story to tell about its past. Now let's take a look at the top 5 travel destinations in India that you must visit if you are traveling to India. Number 5. Goa Beaches Welcome to Goa, a beautiful place with amazing beaches. Goa is on the west side of India and is famous for its nice beaches, fun culture, and relaxed feeling. In this video, we'll look at some of the best beaches in Goa. First, let's talk about Baga Beach. It's a very popular beach in North Goa. The sand there is golden and goes on for a long way. There are little places to eat called shacks where you can try yummy seafood and drinks. You can also try fun things like riding on a parachute or a jet ski in the water. Next is Kalanguda Beach. People call it the queen of beaches. It's always busy with lots of people, shops, and things to do. You can try different activities there like riding on a banana boat or playing volleyball. Or you can just sit and enjoy the sea. If you like peaceful places, you'll love Palalim Beach in South Goa. It's very pretty with tall palm trees and calm waves. You can relax in a hammock, get a massage, or take a boat ride to see nearby islands. Aganda Beach is great for nature lovers. It's clean and quiet, and sometimes you can see baby turtles hatching from their eggs. You can swim, sunbathe, or visit the nearby village to meet friendly people and learn about their way of life. Finally, there's Anjuna Beach. It's famous for its big market and parties. The beach has tall cliffs and rocks, and the atmosphere is very relaxed. You can buy cool things at the market, dance to music, or watch the sun go down. Whether you like adventure, relaxing, or learning about new cultures, you'll find it all at Goa's beaches. So pack your things, put on some sunscreen, and get ready for a fantastic time at the beach in Goa. Number 4. Kerala Backwaters Welcome to Kerala, home to the breathtaking backwaters. Kerala is a beautiful state in South India known for its lush greenery, tranquil waters, and unique culture. In this video, we'll explore the magical world of Kerala's backwaters. The Kerala backwaters are a network of rivers, lakes, and canals that meander through the state's picturesque landscape. It's like a peaceful maze of waterways that stretches across many kilometers, offering a serene and enchanting experience. One of the best ways to explore the backwaters is by taking a houseboat ride. These traditional boats, called ketuvalams, are made of wood and palm leaves and are equipped with all the comforts you need for a relaxing journey. You can sit back and admire the lush greenery, colorful villages, and coconut groves that line the banks of the waterways. As you glide through the backwaters, you'll encounter local fishermen casting their nets, women washing clothes by the water's edge, and children playing on the banks. It's a glimpse into the daily life of the people who call the backwaters their home. You can also visit the backwater villages to learn more about the traditional lifestyle of the locals. Experience the warmth of Kerala hospitality as you interact with villagers, taste authentic Kerala cuisine, and witness age-old customs and rituals. For nature enthusiasts, the backwaters are a haven of biodiversity. Keep an eye out for exotic bird species like kingfishers, herons, and egrets 
as well as colorful butterflies and playful otters. You might even spot a majestic water buffalo cooling off in the water or a monitor lizard basking in the sun. At night, the backwaters come alive with the gentle sounds of nature. Sleep under the stars aboard your houseboat or stay in a cozy lakeside resort and let the soothing sounds of the water lull you into a peaceful slumber. The Kerala backwaters offer a unique and unforgettable experience that will stay with you long after you've left. So come, immerse yourself in the tranquility of Kerala's backwaters and discover the beauty of this enchanting destination. Number three, Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. Varanasi is one of the oldest and most sacred cities in India. Situated in the state of Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi, also known as Kashi or Banaras, holds a special place in the hearts of millions of pilgrims and travelers alike. Varanasi is located on the banks of the holy river Ganges, which is believed to wash away sins and provide salvation to those who bathe in its waters. The city is a spiritual hub where ancient rituals and traditions are practiced daily along the ghats, or riverfront steps. One of the must-see attractions in Varanasi is the Dashashwa Med Ghat, where the famous Ganga Arti ceremony takes place every evening. Devotees gather to witness the mesmerizing spectacle of priests offering prayers to the river, accompanied by chanting and the lighting of oil lamps. Another iconic landmark in Varanasi is the Kashi Vishwanath Temple, dedicated to Lord Shiva, one of the principal deities in Hinduism. The temple is renowned for its intricate architecture and is considered one of the holiest sites for Hindu pilgrims. Exploring the narrow lanes and bustling markets of Varanasi is an experience in itself. From vibrant silk saris to intricate handcrafted jewelry and mouth-watering street food, the city offers a feast for the senses at every turn. For those interested in history and culture, a visit to the Sarnath archaeological site is highly recommended. Located just a short distance from Varanasi, Sarnath is where Lord Buddha is said to have delivered his first sermon after attaining enlightenment. The site is home to ancient stupas, monasteries, and museums that offer insights into Buddhism's rich heritage. But perhaps the most enchanting aspect of Varanasi is its spiritual ambiance and timeless aura. Whether you're taking a boat ride along the Ganges at sunrise, attending a yoga session by the river, or simply observing the ebb and flow of life along the ghats, Varanasi captivates the soul like no other place on earth. So come, immerse yourself in the mystique of Varanasi, where every moment is a sacred journey and every encounter is a step closer to enlightenment. Number two, Jaipur, Rajasthan. Welcome to Jaipur, the capital of Rajasthan, the largest state in India. Jaipur is a lively and historic city, celebrated for its abundant culture, grand forts, and elegant palaces. Throughout this video, we'll delve into Jaipur's highlights and uncover what makes it such an enchanting destination. Let's begin with the Amber Fort, a magnificent stronghold perched atop a hilltop overlooking the city. Crafted from red sandstone and marble, the Amber Fort boasts intricate carvings, picturesque courtyards, and sweeping vistas of the surrounding scenery. Visitors can explore its diverse sections, including the Diwani Am, Hall of Public Audience, Diwani Khas, Hall of Private Audience, and the captivating Shish Mahal, Mirror Palace. Next on our itinerary is the City Palace, an impressive complex that once served as the royal residence of Jaipur's Maharajas. Blending Rajput, Mughal, and European architectural styles, the city palace stands as a testament to Jaipur's regal legacy. Guests can wander through its lavish courtyards, ornate halls, and museum exhibits showcasing royal relics, attire, and artwork. A visit to Jaipur wouldn't be complete without experiencing the Hawa Mahal, also known as the Palace of Winds. This iconic pink sandstone edifice features intricately designed windows and balconies, crafted to allow royal women to observe street processions and festivities discreetly. The Hawa Mahal symbolizes Jaipur's architectural brilliance and is a must-see attraction for all visitors. Another highlight of Jaipur is its bustling bazaars, where you can browse through vibrant textiles, handcrafted goods, jewelry, and traditional Rajasthani souvenirs. Markets like Johari Bazaar and Bapu Bazaar 
offer a vibrant atmosphere and an array of goods that captivate the senses. Lastly, we have the Jantar Mantar, an ancient astronomical observatory constructed by Maharaja Jai Singh II in the 18th century. This UNESCO World Heritage Site showcases a collection of architectural instruments designed for measuring time, predicting eclipses, and studying celestial bodies. Visitors can marvel at the ingenuity of these instruments and learn about ancient Indian astronomy. Number 1. Taj Mahal, Agra Welcome to Agra, home of the world-famous Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is a very special building in India, and it's one of the most famous landmarks in the whole world. Let's learn more about this incredible place. The Taj Mahal is a beautiful white marble building that was built a long time ago by an emperor named Shah Jahan. He built it as a special tomb for his wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who he loved very much. It took a lot of skilled workers many years to finish building the Taj Mahal, and it's been standing tall for hundreds of years. When you visit the Taj Mahal, you'll see how amazing it looks. The white marble shines in the sunlight, and the details on the building are very intricate and delicate. There are big gardens all around the Taj Mahal with pretty flowers and fountains, making it a very peaceful and beautiful place to visit. One of the best times to see the Taj Mahal is at sunrise or sunset when the colors of the sky make it look even more magical. Many people come from all over the world just to see this breathtaking sight, and it's definitely something you won't forget. Inside the Taj Mahal, you can see the special tombs of Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal. These tombs are decorated with beautiful designs and precious stones, showing how much they were loved and honored. The Taj Mahal is not just a beautiful building, but it's also a symbol of love and devotion. It's a place where people can come to appreciate its beauty and feel the love that went into building it. So if you ever get the chance to visit Agra, don't miss the opportunity to see the Taj Mahal. It's a truly special place that will leave you in awe of its beauty and the love story behind it. Thanks for coming along on this awesome trip to some really cool places. We hope you had fun exploring the beauty, culture, and fun of each spot. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more travel ideas and advice. And don't forget to leave a comment telling us where you want to go next. Until next time, take care.